Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Homeless Mum. Now I'm picking up exactly where I left off because just as I was about to turn the game off, Jasper has phoned Blake and he says he wants to come over and hang out with Blake. Is that okay? Is that okay? How cute is that? Yes. Yes, that is freaking okay, Jasper. So over you come. Um, now, what I did do, I found all the eggs. I found all the eggs. I was only missing one, so I found them all. So I am so excited that I get to buy the bunny. Now, also, because I was searching, sorry, I just knocked my mic. I hope that didn't deafen you. Um, Maddie has completed her aspiration because what happened with that was I was searching for the egg and she found what she needed to find so we can now pick a new aspiration for her I'm not entirely sure what I want her to do so let me know in the comment section down below what you think would be a good thing for um, her could she go for um, family or could we go for food fortune knowledge love popularity you let me know what you think in the comment section and we'll do that okay so you let me know what you want now what it also means is just pause this what it also means is because she has completed that she has got the appraiser trait um which means that she can sell all the collectibles and fossils and elements to the museum and it gives her extra money. So let's see how much extra this gives her because I'm not entirely sure. So we've got a peach here. <laughs> peach doesn't look like a peach to me. It's a bit jaggy for a peach. But let's sell it to these. So 15 simoleons normally. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it like, oh my God, 199 she got back for it. So that's a really good trait to have. That's the first time I've ever used that. How good a trait is that? Right, Blake, come and uh, come and let your daddy in. So come and uh, discuss interests with him. Talk about toys. Now, I think this is this is their first meeting. This is their first meeting, guys. I know that they're automatically friends because he's a kid, but this is... Oh, my God. This is the first meeting with his daddy. How nice is that? How nice is that? He's like, hi, dad. That's <laughs> so cute. That is so cute. I am so, so pleased with that. Now, they have got 2,900 because of the uh, things that were sold. So I'm going to get her to quickly uh, sell all of these because we need to give our Blakey boy... Um, sorry, Blake's got a room, but we need to... Reese Cuzzello. Hi, Maddie. Let me join the yummy mummies. <laughs> what do you think? Um, deny... You're missing a couple of things. Let's sell these, sell these, sell these, sell these, sell these. Okay. So, I don't know about you, but I think, look at that. Chiching, chiching, chiching. Do you know what? Maddie's done so well for herself. She really has. And look, he's giving her a cuddle. How nice is that? Give him a heartfelt compliment. Let's drag that away from his feet. Their relationship has deteriorated quite a bit. They are lovebirds though. I would like to get Maddie to go out tonight <clears throat> because she hasn't been out for a wee while. But why don't we get her to serve dinner to the family before she goes? Because the good thing about having Kira now is we can go out without feeling uh, particularly guilty because the fact that Kira can look after our wee angels. So how's your fun? Your fun is fine. Your hygiene's not. So why don't you go and take a shower? And take a pee. And then once she's made this mac and cheese, we'll get her to uh, go out. How are you? Your fun is low, so why don't you play some computer? Can you play some Sims, babe? You play Sims just like me. And then how are you? Your fun's going up, so that's good. Oh, and also, oh yes, 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 we get the bunny. We get the bunny. That's exciting, I forgot. Okay. So because we have all the eggs, all the eggs, here it's here. I'll not by completing the egg challenge. Look, it's so cute. It is so cute. So we need to do like a bit of an extension to the house, but how cute is that? And that gives us fun of six. And it has got social skill with creativity skill, kids um, only, and it's 155, which is totally worth it. So let's play and hug Bun Bun. Let's see. So cute. 
So, so cute. So why don't you... Can you call people to meal? Yeah, you can. Oh no, that's Maddie. Maddie's eating hers. Well, I mean, everybody knows it's available, so that's fine. How cute are they? How freaking cute. Once you're finished with the shower, why don't you grab that? I think it's so nice that he came over on his own. Like, I'm totally fangirling over him. <laughs> totally fangirling over him. Right, Maddie, we really do need to work on getting you pregnant again. So, obviously we know Dr. Duncan, you love him. Um, He's your bestie. We liked Ethan, Ethan Brooks. I don't think he had anyone, but I'm not entirely sure. So, let us... Right, we've had enough. So let's go and travel. Travel, and we will go with the girls. We'll take our girls with us. So we'll take Katty, Lydia and Kiana. And we'll take Winston. It's been a while, so we'll have a, a proper night out, I think. So everyone's coming with us. So let's go and party on down with Maddie. Oh, no, dear, sorry about that. That took uh, that took forever. Took absolutely forever. So you go change your uh, into formal. That is that's not your formal. Is that your formal? Is that what I've got? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, she doesn't really have much, does she? Right. Okay. So that's our formal. So we have came to Andrew Arcade's club and pub. So I did download this from the gallery and I think it's an awesome creation because down below is a pub, obviously. That's the pub part, is down below. We can also buy food here, which is good. Um, we've got toilets. I don't know actually if I've showed you this one. Not entirely sure. We've got some foosball, etc. We've got a big TV and then up here we have the uh, club section. We also have a, uh, a bed, but I think that's... Uh, that's a club door, so I don't think you can get in there. Um, but I'm not entirely, not entirely sure, to be honest. But we want to uh, get some, uh, not a lot of people here yet, but I'm sure they'll start, I'm sure they'll start piling in. Who's this guy? What's your name? Can you stop walking for a second, please? What is your name? What, what is your name? Sergio Romeo. Let's give him a flirty introduction. Let's go for that. He liked that. Complete 100 whims across all your sims. I think I have done that. 100% I think I have done that. So we're brightening his day a little bit. How do you look? Will you make good looking children, Sergio? I think you will. You've got nice eyes. Uh, compliment his appearance. Um, let's go with um, compliment his outfit. Ask for a small loan. No, we won't. Uh, ask about day. Let's ask about your career. Now, with our Reese being unemployed, as we know, although with this new mod, oh, cutie patootie, Justin Tipser, I like you right away. Let's brighten his day. Right, enough, enough with him. I think he's cuter. <laughs> Hello, blondie. What are you phone, day? Come here. Come here. You're cute. Oh my goodness, you are cute. Yes. Yes, you excite me. <laughs> I think you're cute, right? Come on, Maddie. You get your butt in here. Tell him a funny story. Let's line these up. Compliment is a... Oh, my goodness. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Not seen that one before. Not really seen that. Kiss, kiss, kiss. That's interesting. And they're walking all the way in here to speak. Justin Tipster. We don't really... I don't really want a group conversation. I just want to talk to you, to be fair. Uh, tell a knock knock joke. So everyone likes a knock knock joke. Uh, flatter him a little bit. Can if you need the toilet, sweetheart, just go to the toilet. Like you can. It's not a problem. And there's Maddie holding the room. Everyone thinks that she's so funny. Sorry guys, I just get the hiccups that came from absolutely nowhere. Tell him a funny story. Is Winston now old? Let's ask him to stargate. It's because we know that relationships. Look at this guy. He's like, Floyd is like, uh, yeah, yeah, um, you may be going after the blondie, but look at my sit-ups. <laughs> look what I can do with my sit-ups. But uh, yeah, he, he is cute. Why are you going over there? I want you to go on Stargaze. 
uh, enthused about outdoors with him. Can we stargaze, maybe? Is there no way to stargaze in the lot? That might be the problem. Because I think the lot is a small lot and I think it's, uh, I think it is pretty full. So let's see, is there a problem with it? Oh no. Oh no. They seem to be okay. They seem to be okay. Oh, they're going to line this wee garden part. That's adorable. Okay, that's super cute. So we'll get them to discuss latest games. We will ask about his career and brighten his day a wee bit more. Her queue is full. Let's fast forward this. Let me know what you think of uh, just Julian. Why did I call him Justin? <laughs> you guys would be like Laura and they're friends now okay Julian Tipster and let me know in the comments down below if he's one of your sims because I always wonder I can't remember like how many sims I've put in and who they belong to and all that so be sure to claim your sim and there we go it is midnight and we've got some notifications of um what's happening in the town so uh, Caliente Llama has married Jace Riley. Now, I've got Caliente Llama who has a... I'm going to take a, a quick uh, picture of that so I can tweet her that. No, give me this back. Give me give me it back. Oh, give me it back. So we've got quite a lot of marriages. So let's see, let's see. Caliente Llama has married Jace Riley. Let me just take a, a quick picture. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> So professional. But yeah, so it shows you that these things happen um, in town, which I think is is really kind of cute. You tend to get like a, a wee stutter at 12 o'clock, but that happened in the uh, Sims 3 as well. So that's totally fine. Okay guys, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. It had a bit of a stutter. That's nothing to do with the mod. I think it's because I'm connected to the gallery online and that seems to cause some issues, which is an, slightly annoying that you need to, or I need to anyway, um, stay offline to get any sort of connection. So Nina Caliente has came over to speak to us. And uh, you better not be uh, hitting on our Julian because I have had uh, my eye on him and he's now away. But that's fine. I think he's definitely the uh, next baby daddy. Um, those two have got a great friendship. They are really, really good friends, which is cool. And I've actually given her a career, which she didn't have before. So she's now in the painter career, which is nice. Um, I wonder if they've given her, can we brighten her day a little bit? Lydia, we don't know if Lydia does anything, but this is the thing, it, it gives them jobs, which is great, which is really, really, really good. Now, she needs to pee, so I'm going to get her to pee. Now, she hasn't stolen anything in quite a number of days. She hasn't actually even had, like, um, the itch to steal or anything like that. And I'm wondering whether, obviously, she's now lucky enough that she's got some money, let me just check that she's still got the tree. Yeah, she does. So maybe she kind of feels like she doesn't need to steal anymore or she doesn't want to steal. I don't I don't really know. But uh, we could go... She can steal chairs. The DJ is not even here. Can you steal that? No. <laughs> can you steal the bar? Nope. Can you steal... Someone said steal wall art because the wall art tends to be worth quite a bit. Can we steal the TV yet? Uh, no, I thought maybe we could there because quite a lot came up. And I was like, can we steal the TV? That'd be awesome. Can't steal that game. Can we steal that? We can. We can steal this. But I can't remember uh, how much it was worth. So I think we will... You're probably like, don't do that, Laura. We'll go with this one. We'll go with this chair. And we'll give her the option to swipe. It is so late, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Right, so come up here and swipe this, because no one's around. Okay, awesome. Well done. And she received an egg <laughs> from stealing a chair. She received an egg. So let's let's switch control back to uh, Kira. I tend to switch it back to whoever's left in the household rather than have them do the whole walk. Because once we get back to the household, you can then click to bring her back and... It's just a lot quicker, in my opinion. I do prefer it that way. I don't know where these hiccups have came from, guys. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. So what are you... Oh, you're kidding me on. What are you all doing up? 
What are you all doing up? You better be refreshed. Okay, so they've probably been to sleep. Okay, by the looks of it, they've all been to sleep. Now, what I said to you was, let's bring Maddie here. We need to build another room. And we need to build another room. So, I think, I think, I think, because this will still be good for these two. So, the two kids can still be in this room. But, let's be honest, she needs her space. She needs her privacy. She's a teenager. She doesn't want to be sharing with a child. She doesn't. So, we're going to build her a room next to uh, Maddie's. Let's do that. Um, so, what we could do... I don't, let's extend, let's extend Maddie's actually, and um, we'll extend yours as well, because we're feeling flush, it's quite a long room actually, <laughs> I don't know if that's a bit, if that's a bit long, that's what she said, <laughs> oh Laura, did you go there, did you go there, and let's make the kids room a little bit uh, bigger as well, yeah, we'll increase the size of our house, yeah, and then what we could do potentially, eventually, is put like a staircase up here or up here and then we could go up and build. I kind of want to move, can we, can we move the, can we move the house? I don't know, can we move the house? They're all going to be like standing in it. What, I don't even know what way you, you're supposed to. Because if it's that way, <laughs> if it's that way, then that just looks ridiculous. Let's um, put this in. Because she's planted, basically, she's planted things in her. <laughs> she's, she's planted all. Can you move these? I don't know if you can. Can you move these? Move house to. Right, okay, no, we're fine. We're fine where that is. Can we move these? Oh, we can. Excellent. Excellent. Because every time anyone comes to the house, Right, I'll move them once I've stopped recording, right? I'll move them once I've stopped recording. So, give you a bigger room and we'll start to make it look quite nice for you. We will um, put the rooms up and give you a door. A door is always good, yes. A door is always good. And I forgot paint for the bathroom, you guys will be screaming. <laughs> Someone said to me that, um, oh, where does... Oh, there it's there. They were like, you missed a bit over the door and I didn't fix it last time. So they're going to be uh, going mental at me again. <laughs> but you know. But it is all about kind of building up, like we've said as well. And uh, let's go for this light. Because I actually think this is a really pretty light and it casts like a nice glow. Like it's not like a harsh light, it casts quite a nice glow. Um, I think I would quite like you to have, let's go into the beds. Um, not a kiddie's bed, I would quite like you to have, much as that, 560. Um, right, let's go for, well this is a, it's a teen bed, so that would have actually been alright, but let's go for... Let's go for this one, pink and black. So we'll kind of vamp up our room a wee bit, I think. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. We've got five minutes. Five minutes left in Laura's cloak. So let's see what we can do. We can make it quite glam. It's just a bit too glam, isn't it? I mean, I don't think they don't have that kind of money as yet. <laughs> don't really have that much money yet we could go kind of dark mm. we could go like I did use black walls in The Sims 3 and it worked out really really nice we could potentially do that for her but I don't think you can do uh, black walls no I don't like that anyway that's not nice that's not nice the navy walls was okay then it's a bit of a clash, isn't it? Oh yeah, we could do that. That's quite nice. What kind of colours do we have then? Um, No, it's brown. It looks like jobbies, Laura. Why would you want to put jobbies on walls? Why are you even considering that? <laughs> I don't even know why I was considering putting jobbies on the wall. Like, 
Oh, that, that, no. What about this? What about a nice sky blue? No, Laura, no, 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 that's not what you're going for. Uh, let's go for a mauve. Yeah, go for that, that's quite nice. And then we shall go for, what about dark wood floorboards? No, because she's they've got a white skirt and board, so that would be ridiculous, Laura. Let's take the grid off. Grid off. So obviously we want to jazz up the rooms and make the rooms pretty and and things like that. Maybe give her a wardrobe or something such as that. How much is the cheapest wardrobe? Seven thirty. I think we could manage seven thirty. You think we could manage seven thirty, guys? Do you know what? I think we could because I kind of like the wardrobe. I think the wardrobe's kind of cool. And then what I'm going to do, so it looks like a fitted wardrobe, let's put a wall across here. Does that look terrible when the wall's up? Let me see. Oh my god, I didn't know how to, it does, it looks really silly. Can you put a wall across it? You can! I did not know that. Excellent. So it looks like a fitted wardrobe and some might say that's a complete waste of money and space, but I don't know if I agree. <laughs> Because I think it's nice, and it's nice that it's a black wardrobe, I think. And then we can pop our bed up against the wall. And then that means we've got somewhere to, like, hang our stuff. And we'll get there. We will get, definitely, definitely get there. I'm going to add more of, did we say we were going to go for the stained glass? I think we did. So let's add some windows to our bedroom. Let's add some windows. To the window, to the wall. <laughs> oh my god, that song, that song. Um, but let, yeah, let's give them some windows. Let's see here. Um, seem quite low, doesn't? They do actually seem quite low. Maybe I won't put a window at the back. But then a window at the back would be quite nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice, Laura. It would be nice for them to look out the back and see uh, outside. Let them know that they can go outside. <laughs> what about this? Mm. I don't know. We'll see if we could find like a a window that kind of went with it. But I don't think that's a really really nice window. What does that say? It requires a taller height level. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. What about just putting like a big... Why will that not... That doesn't like go behind those units, which will annoy me. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Because I know it'll annoy me. I just don't think putting those windows in would be appropriate considering what the other windows look like. What do you look like? I can't do you either. Why can't I do half the windows I want to do? Um, okay, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave the windows in the kitchen just now. Because eventually I want to add on to the back of the area anyway. So I'd probably need to remove the windows. But we'll give uh, our girly some windows in her bedroom. Which she probably will appreciate. And I'm just putting that over the pictures. <laughs> So I'll need to move all of these pictures. Move, move, let's move you here. Move you here and move you here. I'm surprised that it let me actually uh, do that. There we go, some pictures. Okay, so 887. So our house is uh, slowly, slowly taking shape. And like I say, I will, before finishing recording, I'll move all these to the back so that it makes sense. Oh, we need to move the bunny, hold on. To move the bunny into the room, into the room. And then I'll probably get rid of the eggs off here and maybe put them in the kids' room or something like that. I'm not sure, and I'll rearrange the kind of picture. So I'll do a few things off camera, the kind of things that are kind of like meh. You know, 
not very interesting type things. I wanted to get some other pictures up here as well. So yes, it's coming together. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I'm interested to see what you think. And hopefully you don't think the wardrobe's a waste of money because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you loads guys and I'll talk to you oh let's see how much that chair was worth actually 320 thank you so much and I'll talk to you in the very next part bye guys